progress report on the Hamtronics repeater. From left to right, the transmitter box in the centre, the control box, and on the right, the receiver box. This is the exciter, that's the 20 watt PA, that's a 12 volt switch because the Hamtronics exciter has no power to applied to it until it is needed to be turned on by the receiver's mute opening. It's a 12, it's a um, 12 volt logic output from the receiver board, um, but it's not powerful enough to supply the um, exciter, so I put a little transistor switch, and that then feeds power and turns the exciter on, which then feeds the 2 watts to the PA, and you get the 20 watts out. Uh, 12 volts is wired to the PA all the time because it doesn't draw any current until uh, it has input. This is the connection to the outside world through feed-through capacitors and then down to an 8-pin DIN. Um, I haven't wired across to the 25-pin, um, the DB25 yet because we don't, I don't actually know what pinouts we're going to use. That's a fuse and that's the output, the 20-watt output from the transmitter on an N-type connector. In the centre, the NHRC4 controller has not yet arrived, but it will go there. And I've also ordered a proportional squelch, which changes the mute tail so that weak and fluttery signals don't get chopped up as much. Um, you'll hear a lot of noise, but the signal will still hang in there. Be interesting to see how well it works. Um, this is just the uh, copper screen and there's a range of feed-through capacitors along there and uh, the connections will be made from here across to here to go to the controller and then they'll come out of the controller and go to this um, plug, this socket here which connects to the receiver. That is the Hamtronics receiver. I've added an audio automatic gain control um, XVK6RLM, the old FM881, that smooths out the audio and um, you get a more consistent audio level. And once again the output connection to the outside world via feed through capacitors and the 8 pin DIN, the DB25 in there, and that's the receiver input via the end connector to the Hamtronics board. Speaker for local monitoring, power on off switch, um, fuse there, fuse there, and fuse there. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh, one interesting thing too, with the exciter, it does actually have an inbuilt soft clipper, so you can't, in terms of the audio fed to the FM modulator, so you can't overdrive it, uh, which is a very good thing, so um, that has a simple little built-in clipper, but along with the audio AGC, should provide some um, fairly good sounding audio. Um, there's not much else really. Oh, yeah, the power, yeah, each um, each box has its own power connection, a two pin polarised, you can't quite see it, it's right down the bottom. Um, so you can individually power each each box up, but in practice you'd only feed power to this one and then because this is the high current one, and then the lower current will be fed via this interconnecting cable, which will power the control board and the receiver. One final interesting point about the exciter is that you can permanently turn on the um, synthesizer. Um, this draws 30 milliamps, would then draw 30 milliamps all the time it's for much faster switching and it depends on the application how you're going to use the repeater it's a simple little mod and you add an extra 12 volts to the board which is there that then powers the synthesizer all the time which is actually located over here and so it's got very fast switch on time if you don't have that and you've connected uh, so that when the 12 volts is applied to the main board, it is then fed to the synthesizer, which then has to start up and lock. There's a delay of about three to 400 milliseconds, so less than half a second, 
depends on the application. I've wired this one so it comes on instant. Well, it, it, it's instant. As soon as, as soon as you apply power to the board, you've got output immediately. So that's just a rough breakdown of progress so far. Awaiting the NHRC-4 repeater controller. And um, then we can wire that in, program it up, and start doing some serious testing.